Okay, our goal here is to find the value of y, x, and z in degrees. These are my little degree symbols. And there are really only two things you need to know in terms of background, um, in terms of the angles and, and arcs here to figure this out. So first of all, um, what you need to know, let me scroll down here, is number one, the basic situation uh, of a circle and an inscribed angle um, is the central angle, right? Sorry, the basic type of situation is when you have a central angle. Let's call it C. The, the measure of C equals the measure of the arc it intersects, right? So if this is the arc here, a little over a fourth. So if the arc itself is about 91 degrees, let's say, right? And then C also equals 91 degrees. However, when you take an angle and you don't make it central, but you, let's say, inscribe it, so let's have the angle be here. It's an angle inside a circle that's not originating at the center, right? So this will be circle D. And this angle, right, let's call this angle, I don't know, E. No, let's call it I, sorry, because it's inscribed. This angle equals half the measure of the arc it intersects. So any angle inside a circle, in other words, any angle formed by two chords of the circle, these are chords, not at the center, is equal to half the measure of the arc. So if this, that it intersects, so if this is i, then this whole length here is 2i degrees. Uh, as an example, this looks like it's almost 180 degree arc, right? So let's say this is 70 degrees. That means that this would equal 2i or 140. And the other interesting scenario is when you have a tangent chord angle. In other words, an angle formed by a tangent and a chord. Let me scroll down here. So here in this third example, right? What's wonderful here is that you know you you're, you feel like you're adding all this complexity, like a tangent line here, and then some chord, right, that meets here. Well, here you have this this tangent and this chord, and what's going to happen? Well, let's call this angle T, right? Because we're dealing with tangent chords. That's our angle. Well, T, if this is point A and this is point B, what's really cool is that the measure of angle T, right, is equal to one half the measurement of AB. Oops, let me, sorry. The measurement of arc AB. In other words, this is the exact same situation as you had up here with the inscribed angle. This angle T is equal to half the measurement of this arc. So if this arc, let's say, you know, I don't know, this arc is not half the circle, of course, but let's say it's 130 degrees. Well, T would be half of that, and T would be 65 degrees, right? And the same is true on this other side, right? This is angle, um, I don't know, T2. Well, T2 is also half of this arc AB, right? In total in the circle, there's, right, 360 degrees. If this is 130 over here, this has got to be 230 over here. And T2 is half of that, 115 degrees, right? 115 degrees. And that's going to help us here because if we look at what we're given, uh, first of all, we're only given one number, 48 degrees. This is an inscribed angle. So that means this arc right here, right, is double that in measurement. So let's label that. Let's call it, because we don't have any labels here, let's call it A, B. So the measure of arc A, B is double 48, or 2 times 48, which is what? 96 degrees, right? Okay, so that's this arc right here. And that's quite helpful, right? Because what do we know about um, angles X and Y? Well, if we extend these lines here, and this is not immediately obvious, but here, if I extend this line, that's a tangent line. And this line right here, right, is a chord. So angle Y, which has to represent, you know, by the way, this full distance here, that not don't think of it as the angle with this curve. You can't have an angle where one of the, the lines is curved on this type of geometry, right? So here, this angle Y, so the measurement of angle Y is equal to what? One half A B, right? And what's cool about that is if it's it's equal to the measurement of one half oops A B, which is one half of 96, that means it's going to equal 48 degrees. It's going to equal this angle over here. So, so y is equal to 48 degrees. 
But look at x. You know, x is over here, right? And what do we notice? Well, there, if we draw another tangent line, right, and another chord here, we get another angle that's a tangent chord angle, right? And that'll also be half the inscribed arc. So x is also equal to y. It's, e it's also equal to um, 48 degrees, right? Oh, sorry, or y, x equals 48 degrees. What does z have to equal? Well, z has to equal the remaining degrees in this triangle. So 180 minus two groups of 48, or minus 96, right, equals 84 degrees. Did I do that right? right? 180 minus 90, that would be 90 degrees, minus another 6 degrees is 84. So those are the measurements we're given. Thanks.